Okay, Shabbat Shalom. So I'm coming back with another uh, Sabbath reading, discussion, lesson, however you want to view it. Okay, I'm going to be talking about Samuel, Saul, and the witch. Who y'all think we were the witches and the wizards? Israel. Okay, I'm going to read that. <clears throat> um first Samuel, okay, first Samuel chapter 28. I'm gonna start reading at verse 7 all the way down to 25. Now I'm just um it's the Sabbath, and we're gonna we're gonna find out what we are all about, Israel, all our powers that we have within us. Okay, let's read. Verse seven, then Saul said unto his servant, seek me a woman that has a familiar spirit that I may go to her and inquire of her. And his servant said to him, behold, there is a woman that has a familiar spirit at Endor. <clears throat> Someone that has a familiar spirit, that means they have the power to call up those that's asleep. Okay. In another dimension. Okay. And Saul disguised himself and put on other raiment. And he went and two men with him and they came to the woman by night. And he said, I pray thee, divine unto me by the familiar spirit, and bring me up whom I shall name unto thee. He asked her to bring up the dead. Bring them up. So people aren't really dead, they're just asleep. They just went to another dimension. He said, bring them up. They just went to a dimension. They went under earth. That's all. But you're going to watch and see that you're actually able to do it. You can actually talk to someone that's under earth, dead, asleep. Okay, watch this. And the woman said unto him, Behold, thou knowest what Saul has done how he has cut off those that have familiar spirits, those who have the ability to call up, those who have passed on to another dimension. And the wizards out of the land, wherefore then layest thou a snare for my life to cause me to die? And Saul swear to her, by the Lord saying, as the Lord liveth, there shall no punishment happen to thee for this thing. Then said the woman, whom shall I bring up unto thee? Who shall I call up? Who shall I wake up from the dead, from the grave, from the ground, from the underworld? And he said, bring me up, Saul. And when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice, and the woman spake to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art Saul. You're Saul. She said, Why are you told that lie? To me, somebody else. You Saul. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid, for what sawest thou? What did you see? What did you see? And the woman said unto Saul, I saw gods ascending out of the earth. And he said unto her, what form is he of? And she said, an old man cometh up and he is covered with a mantle. And Saul perceived that it was Samuel. And he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed himself. And Samuel said to Saul, Why hast thou disquieted me? I was asleep. Why you woke me up? To bring me up? 
And Saul answered, I am sore distressed for the Philistines make war against me and God is departed from me and answereth me no more, neither by, by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore I have called thee that thou mayest make known unto me what I should do. Then said, then said Samuel, wherefore then dost thou ask of me, seeing the Lord is departed from thee? And is become by an enemy. Because if the Lord ain't with you, you through the most high, the creator. And the Lord has done to him as he spake by me. For the Lord has rent the kingdom out of thine hand and given it to thy neighbor, even to David. Because thou obeyest not the voice of the Lord, nor executest his fierce wrath upon Amalek. Therefore has the Lord done this thing unto thee this day. So when the Most High tell you to do something, you do it. Moreover, the Lord also will also deliver Israel with thee into the hand of the Philistines. And tomorrow shall thou and thy sons be with thee, with me. The Lord also shall deliver the host of Israel into the hand of the Philistines. Then Saul fell straightway all along on the earth and was sore afraid because of the words of Samuel. And there was no strength in him for he had eaten no bread all day, nor all the night. And the woman came unto Saul and saw that he was sore troubled and said unto him, behold, thine handmaid has obeyed thy voice. And I have put my life in my hand and have hearkened unto thy words, which thou spakest unto me. Now, therefore, I pray thee, hearken thou also unto the voice of thy handmaid and let me set a morsel of bread before thee and eat that thou mayest have strength when thou goest on thy way. But he refused and said, I will not eat. But his servants, together with the woman compelled him and he hearkened unto her voice. So he arose from the earth and sat upon the bed. And the woman had a fat calf in the house and she haste and killed it and took flour and kneaded it and did bake unleavened bread thereof. And she brought it before Saul and before his servants and they did eat. Then they rose up and went away that night. So y'all tell me what y'all think about uh, Saul and the woman with a familiar spirit. Now the Most High allow her to call him up, to call up Samuel. That's one of our abilities. And, and see, I'm saying that because for one thing, people don't die. They just go to sleep and they're just in another dimension. And we are multi-dimensional beings and we have the ability to go to any dimension. And I'm gonna share a new, a new um, show that's on Apple TV. It's called Invasion. Y'all, y'all better get ready. Y'all better get in this book. Y'all better get in this book. And I mean in the Old Testament, that's the truth. Then you won't be scared of anything. You will be ready. Okay. You shouldn't have waited this long because we, we should have, you should have been on this. You don't let someone pick and choose what you know. And what you don't know, because this is your life. This is your life. This is your life path. You have every right to know everything because everything concerns you. What your abilities are, how to protect yourself, who your God is, all of that. Talk to your God. I talk to the most high every day. So um, I just read. First Samuel chapter 28, and I've started reading at verse seven. 
all the way down to 25. Y'all, um, tell me what y'all think about this reading, okay? Y'all, please like, share, subscribe, Shabbat Shalom, and please hit that notification button so you will be notified when I am dropping new videos. Shalom.